Hello, and welcome to the unboxing video for the Equals Math curriculum. My name is Jen Emanuel, and I'm an educational consultant at N2Y. I'm excited to take you through this curriculum today. Equals is a print-based, multi-sensory K-12 math curriculum for students with severe disabilities that is backed by research to improve problem solving and math knowledge. It follows a systematic approach to math instruction that allows all students to be successful learners of foundational math skills. A complete curriculum includes three parts. You have the content kit, the manipulative kit, and the digital component, members only content. To get started, we'll explore the content kit box. The content kit contains all the teacher's guides, printed work mats, content and theme posters, student tools, and a quick start guide. All of these materials come organized in your content kit box to support initial lesson implementation and organization. Towards the front of the box, you will find all of your spiral bound teacher's guides, a set of student tools, a page of pre-printed labels to support with manipulative kit organization, as well as a quick start guide. Now on the quick start guide, there are directions to access members only content. You will receive members only content digitally through a zip file emailed to you. Be sure to keep track of these resources as you will need them when delivering lessons. The teacher's guides are spiral bound and include two chapters per book. There are a total of 10 chapters in the entire curriculum. Each teacher's guide will show the numerals on the cover representing the chapters that are contained in each book. You will also find folded within your teacher's guides labeled tabs indicating each chapter. Use these tabs to quickly locate the chapter and lesson you plan to teach. Moving toward the back of the box, you will notice two tabs labeled work mats and the second posters. All of the pre-printed work mats are stored and organized behind the work mat label. All of the content and theme posters are organized behind the poster label. Taking a look at our content posters now, there are nine content posters within your kit. Content posters provide visual aids during lessons to support math concept understanding, as well as generalization of skills. Moving on to our theme posters. There are 15 theme posters. During lessons, theme posters are used to support conversations and provide a context for the objective students are learning. Each theme poster has a set of six poster cards matching images on the poster to support students who may not be able to navigate the poster to discuss the lesson objective. Taking a look at the work mats now, work mats are an important resource for both teachers and students. These important tools are meant to be used by students to organize their manipulatives during lessons. The work mats have been sized and created specifically to accommodate the manipulatives from the kit. The work mats are also available digitally within your members only content. Finally, moving toward the front of our content kit box, you will find the student tool set. Now, similar to the work mats, these materials are meant to be an interactive opportunity to help students organize manipulatives and support thinking skills as they work through lesson activities. You too will use these tools to model math concepts and strategies. To support the ease of instruction and use, all posters, work mats, and student tools are all printed on a dry erasable paper so students and teachers can write on them during the lesson with dry erase markers. There are two smaller boxes that are also considered part of the content kit. We have the smaller box containing cards for student support and the equals assessment for making placement decisions and tracking long-term progress. Taking a closer look at the card box, this small but mighty box contains over 1,400 cards. All of the cards are pre-cut and do include pre-printed tabs to support with quick organization. Cards are also available digitally within members only. Now, one of the card's primary function is to support students' language and actions during lessons. Let's explore the second box containing the equals assessment now. 
The assessment box includes two assessment flip books, two pages of assessment specific fix symbols, a small amount of assessment specific student tools, and then a small set of assessment specific work mats. Now, assessment items will call out those items specifically within the item directions. When looking at the assessment, the assessment is used for making placement decisions by assessing students' math knowledge within the content areas the curriculum is built on. Each assessment item is differentiated to support the variety of students being assessed. All of these materials should remain in your assessment box to keep prepping for the assessment quick and efficient. Now let's move out of the content kit and into the exciting manipulative kit. The manipulative kit contains math tools and concrete representations used in lessons. The variety of materials affords students the opportunity to explore and understand math in a hands-on way, connecting math to their world. The manipulatives are used in a variety of ways to support students as active learners during lessons with access and an opportunity to communicate what they are learning. To support initial organization, you will find a set of plastic bags that are to be used to organize the manipulatives in your math area in your classroom. Use these bags along with your pre-printed labels to get your materials organized. Let's take a look at some of these multi-purpose manipulatives now, beginning with our pocket chart. Now the pocket chart is shipped as a place value pocket chart. However, it is meant to be used as a quick choice making opportunity for students who may need that additional support. The pockets along the bottom are large enough to fit the majority of the manipulatives as well as the cards that are included in your card box. A set of 200 straws included with the pocket chart are used in lessons as additional counters. These will be bagged and placed in your map area. The wiki sticks and ang legs are included and are useful when asking students to make shapes and designs during lessons, but they have also been included to create borders on work maps and student tools for students who may need additional support when moving and placing manipulatives on these tools. There are two sets of two-dimensional shapes, attribute blocks, and pattern blocks. Attribute and pattern blocks support discussions that include shapes, colors, and size comparisons. An exciting feature of our shape set is that they were created so that the smaller shapes fit on top of the larger shapes to demonstrate partitioning and beginning the discussion of equal shares in a concrete and visual way. Also included in the manipulative kit are unifix cubes, referenced as connecting cubes, and the unifix stairs, referenced as the stacked number line. Now the connecting cubes are used by students within strategies relating to counting, sorting, making sets, as well as understanding place value. The stacked number line is a tool that brings meaning to the number line. Students use the visual representations of each amount and connect that amount to the shown numeral. The 10 frame boxes included are a tactile and physical support for students when learning about counting and grouping sets of 10. Students can feel each box as they place one cube in each place. When a set of 10 has been created, the lid is then closed. Additionally, theme counters are included. Now these theme counters are tied to the theme posters that are included in your content kit box. These counters reinforce problem-solving opportunities within a theme and provide concrete representations of items discussed within a theme. Included in the kit are two types of scales, a balance scale and a dial scale. Let's take a look at the balance scale. This is how you would assemble the balance scale when you first receive your kit. The balance scale is used when comparing amounts and establishing the idea of more, less, and equal. Let's take a look at the dial scale. This is how you'll assemble the dial scale when you first receive your kit.
The dial scale is used to show a more accurate view of weight and mass. The dial scale shows weight in both pounds and ounces, as well as grams and kilograms. In the kit, there are two map lines, a large map line up to 31, and a smaller map line up to 10. The map line is a tool that supports counting, skip counting, adding, subtracting, multiplication, and division. Manipulatives and pick symbols can be attached to the top of the map line tabs to support those students who may need that additional motor support when working with this tool. When first opening these resources, you will need to assemble the larger map line to 31. There are picture directions included with this tool to support its assembly. Also included in the kit are fraction stacks. Fraction stacks allow all students to see and compare relationships between fractions. Each post represents the same whole, so comparisons and relationships are more easily understood. It is a great tool for students to explore fractions. Sorting and placing fractions lays the framework for what is to come in later chapters. In addition to the manipulatives, there are two pieces of assistive technology that can be purchased separately from the manipulative kit the alternate spinner, and the step-by-step -step communicator. These tools support student engagement and communication during lessons. If you are interested in including these resources in your manipulative kit, reach out to a member of our N2Y team today. The final component is the members-only digital content. Within this resource, you will find implementation support, including the Equals Overview Manual and the Action Dictionary, which is a differentiation guide to support teachers and students during lessons. Lesson-specific student materials such as worksheet, pick symbols, number notes, and printable solve posters are organized and labeled by chapter and lesson, so you can quickly locate materials needed for instruction. To monitor understanding throughout lessons, each equals lesson has a leveled lesson test, as well as a variety of informal assessments. Members only content also includes a folder labeled additional members only content. There is a large equals math JPEG image file, equals extension lessons, and equals transition lessons. As you've seen in this video today, EQUALS is a complete and standards-aligned math curriculum that builds foundational math problem-solving skills and promotes student vocabulary and socialization. Your students will practice math and social language skills in every lesson. Educators have told us that EQUALS builds their own confidence in math instruction because they've seen the impact of EQUALS firsthand. It works. Want to dive deeper into EQUALS? Contact us today.